Am I leaving y'all at home or y'all coming? <laughs> Hello, welcome to the vlog. <laughs> you know, Ajane never has her life together, but she's working on it. What time is it? 6.49. I'm doing good on time, kind of. The goal was to be here at 6.30, no later than. We needed to be. But we found, we need to look for parking. I don't have a, I don't have the privilege of having a um, special sticker. But don't do me. I ain't gonna tell y'all what kind. Don't do me. <sighs> Cause slow people. No, don't do me. <laughs> Just saying, I don't have the privilege of getting one of those don't stickers. Don't do me. Have great parking, prime parking. You know what vlog? She mm. finna get popped. I need you to say you lost your sticker so I can have that one. So I don't have to do this. Do they do that? I don't know. You the one who know all the info about it. You know it? what? I was trying to get my mom to do that with her Sam's Club card this morning. I was like, say you lost it and you need another one. But then do they um? Like, that other one be, yeah, that one? that's what I was asking her. She was like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I'm looking. I'm kind of looking like I've been through it right now. I feel like I shot John. <laughs> but I'm getting my life together. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm trying to bring you guys with me. But the way my um, purse is set up, I can't even put a thought in here. I forgot my earrings. Cover Shit. your hair with it. Uh, Oh, your hair, your hair cover your I ears. I forgot my earring. I didn't, cause my head too big, and I needed to round it out. Uh, man, but I like your hair. See, okay. my little swoop de doops was not swoop de dooping for me. I needed some more time. I did too. Let me see. Mm. No, I look good. It's giving screen hair. No. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I feel I'm like coming. this thing said three oh eight. That's what we don't need to be in line. What? Okay, yeah. I don't know. It's probably food. Okay. We gonna see y'all in line, Vogue. We not. Probably not. <laughs> I'm trying to get my life together now. We're here for oh, Megan Good. It's an honorary event for her. Hold on. While I'm trying to get my life together, let me just. Oh, I'm gonna talk to y'all when we walk in. She right. We gonna see y'all in line. Exactly. <laughs> Remember, you heard it here first. She's already a household name, but she's going to the next level. If you agree with me, get up on your feet and welcome to the stage, actress, director, producer, Megan Good. Thank 
these two beautiful ladies have said. to know that what you're doing is what God has called you to do. So that as you experience these things, because nine times out of 10, the answer is no. So as you experience those nine times out of 10, you need to be rooted in something bigger than yourself. You need to be clear about who you are. And you don't have to know everything, but just know, God put me here, I'm supposed to be here, which means I'm gonna win. And in winning, I'm gonna do the work, I'm gonna do what I'm supposed to do. And I'm going to trust that no matter who says no, that my yes is coming. Right. And, and I think it's important because those are the things that when we want something so bad, we don't know if we're supposed to be there or not. And we're constantly in a space of not knowing. And, and our, our destiny and our purpose is suspended in midair. And you're not even sure if you're going in the right direction. That's the stuff that causes depression. That's the stuff that causes mental health issues. And that's the stuff that causes us to overdrink all of that stuff. And so I think just... Being clear. It doesn't mean you're not gonna get it, you know, it doesn't mean you're gonna get perfect. Yeah. Cause I still like wine. But <laughs> <laughs> doesn't mean that you're gonna get it perfect, but it does mean that you will have a confidence and a knowingness and an unshakability about you and a clearness no matter what anybody says, oh. does, you know. So I, I would say ask God first, because once you got his approval, then can't nothing tell you nothing. I don't know. I think I can speak on behalf of the people in this room that we stand in awe of the amazing career, the last 30 years of iconicness. You are love personified. You are the reason why we are doing the very things that we are doing, the, the example that you've set. The many roles that have touched us and changed our lives, we are supporting you. We are heads of protection. We're coming in the comment sections to support our sister as she journeys into her next act. If, if, if anything I said resonates with you, put your hands together to make you do it. Let's the world. Your life has inspired, informed, and ignited a generation of dreamers. Because of you, we can. May your next chapter be the one that sets your very soul on fire. May you good, we love you so much. We're gonna grab a picture with the house photographer. First get Megan good. Not me voluntarily coming on here looking extra raggedy, but here I am. Um, <laughs> I got my set it off. I'll set it off so under here. Today is May 11th. And if you guys know me, you know that June 11th is a month away. And you know that June 11th is my birthday. And I don't have no plans yet again. I'm always planning things very, very last minute. I think my birthday is what, over Saturday this year? It's not a Saturday, it's a Friday. Friday or Saturday, the weekend. I think it's a Saturday though, but I have no plans as of yet. 
Um, I was thinking of going to Peru, but hmm, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I want to go to an island. Peru is definitely on my bucket list because I want to go to see Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu? I'm saying it correctly, whatever. It's one of the seven wonders of the world and I've always said like, I want to see all seven wonders of the world, knock it off my bucket list. And I feel like June is like a good time to go to Peru, weather-wise. Um, so that might be an option. I might have a last minute trip plan. Or if anybody who's watching this and is a part of any type of hotel, travel agency, slash touring company, slash hotels and all that good stuff who wants to sponsor your girl holla at me <laughs> but yeah um i have nothing planned today besides getting my life together i told myself i do want to kind of work out we go see how that happens give myself at least 30 days to preparation for nade you know get a little snatched or whatever you know, see how much booty could grow in 30 days. See how flat my abs could get in 30 days. You know, define abs. Um, what else I want to do? I know y'all tired of me talking about this Christmas tree, but I want to take this down. <laughs> At this point, I feel like I'm going to leave it up. Like I said, I'm gonna, I might leave it up. But, you know, I want to do a lot of organization and stuff. And have a refresh. I don't know if you guys watched, like, my New Year's vlog, which was, like, a recap for the last two years type thing. But I always say, like my new year starts on my birthday so i've had what five months or so to try to get a new routine going on i've, I've, I've been doing a little bit better with some things working on my consistency with certain things um but yeah it's my new year starts june 11th and i just you know, want to continue being more intentional about certain things. Um, I want to be con more consistent. Um, I feel like I've been really good with my consistency this year. So, you guys aren't getting videos six months apart no more. You guys are getting it monthly, two weekish just apart. Um, so, go start for Nay for that. And yeah, I have been getting outside a little bit, you know mix meeting people mixing and mingling um i'm sorry i'm hungry i woke up at 5 p.m today was it five i think it was five yeah because it's like seven now and i'm just now eating <laughs> and i know y'all want to like why you wake up at 5 p.m because i had shit to do okay i was up all night if you haven't watched the, the video before this one, that's what I was doing, fixing that. Matter of fact, why we here? Okay, let me put this down. I'm, 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 I'm gonna eat you. When I'm creating videos, I know y'all probably don't care, but for as a viewer, do y'all appreciate when I put like concert footage, like actual songs, or do y'all don't care if it's just like a recap or something because i know some people be like no if you go say that you was out of concert we want to hear some of the songs like because you guys didn't have an opportunity to go do y'all appreciate it when it's okay i guess the, you guys to feel like you're at the concert too or it's just like girl that's this is too long like skip next like what's next so if you can leave a comment down below to help me understand because sometimes when i'm editing i begin stressed out because i'm like i don't know how much to keep in and how much i should keep Keep out how much I should keep in and how much I should cut out just so that way the video won't be too long so let me know but um right now I'm about to eat my brunch breakfast dinner whatever the fuck and start cleaning up and stuff I really need to go to the grocery store because the bitch ain't got no bread mm -hmm. or no cereal to snack on and no sweets I need some sour patch kids because I need something sweet and sour i have like other stuff but i'm like those are like prime things i need to make a lot of other things you know well i don't need cereal to make other things it's just like you know if i don't feel like <laughs> making a full breakfast i want some cereal i'm a cereal eating ass bitch and um bread like i want i wanted to make a sandwich and some burgers and stuff and i'm like bro you ain't even got no bread so i'm like <laughs> or some toast to go with this i'm like i ain't got no bread <laughs> So I'm trying to figure out if I want to go to the store right now, which I kind of don't. 
but if I do, then I will. But all in all, today is just the oh, realizing. It's Tay, guys. Hi, Bonnet Twin. <laughs> this is, but I, it was so funny because I looked at my, was looking at myself when I was calling, and I was like, I'm not supposed to ask for I'm like, welcome to my Bonnet Talk. <laughs> and you got your Bonnet Talk. Cause she'd be like, look, welcome to Bonnet Talk. Oh, oh now she ain't on the screen. You said what? I was like, oh, she ain't on the screen. I was like, welcome to Bonnet Talk. <laughs> Bonnet Talk, yes, I'm remote right now, guys. I wish I could be there, but unfortunately I'm in NorCal. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna chat. music gut <laughs> my stomach hurt this idiot <laughs> this is my shit this is my this is gonna be your hood music please hold Like they need to let us choose what our whole music will be because then I wouldn't be so mad of hearing the same shit over and over. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. We are going on a mission. I'm freaking hungry. Not even hungry. I want some snacks. And I ain't got nothing sweet besides if I add some stuff and make some with some sugar. Um, I, will, I have like a little craving for some red vines. Um, and some Sour Patch Kids, and I didn't go to the store like I said I was gonna do. So that's what we're about to do. It's 12.30, it's after midnight, and I want some snacks. So the grocery store don't close till one, and 7-Eleven of course stays open 24 hours. So we're about to just go to the grocery store and see what I can grab. And the to see what I could grab out the grocery store because like I said I still I still never went to the store to go grab my bread or anything in my cereal so I might as well try to go swoop that up and then go get some snacks because I need some sweet to draw <laughs> some sour patch kids. Yes. what other snacks do I want Do I want that pack or that box? Mm. These are another one of my favorites, so I'm gonna grab these. I also want some chips because I need something crunchy, but they don't have any sour cream and onion levels. I can deal with the cheddar. I can deal with the cheddar. And I need some bubbles in my life. I want some soda, but I don't want a two liter. And the box of the cans is doing too much. <laughs> I like the cans because it gives me individual servings. But the way these prices set up, it's looking like I'm gonna have to go with a two liter. I don't even drink soda that often. I usually drink my water, but I need some bubbles in my life right now. So. They yelling, telling people to come to the front, so that's what I'm about to do. Uh, that's the best I ever went into a store. Grab what the hell I needed or wanted and got out. All right, y'all. I can see you back in the crib. Um, I did all of that and forgot my cereal. But it's okay. Because I got my sweets and I got some crunchy. So them two combine makes up for me missing out my, on my cereal. You know how you just need something sweet and crunchy? And cereal is sweet and crunchy? 
that's what I needed. That was sweet and crunchy. But I need some sweets. So I got <laughs> my bread buns, my Sour Patch Kids, some soda. And like I said, I don't really drink soda like that. But I've been craving some bubbles. So the root beer is what's going to have to help me with my need for some bubbles. Um, I be dreading going to the store because I don't like going to the store. I don't know. I don't like going nowhere. I'm lying. Let me not say that. It's just something about me going to the grocery store and then having to go grocery shopping and then getting everything and then carrying everything by myself. Maybe that's the trauma with me going to the store. <laughs> Luckily, I got my wagon though. But I think that, I think that's what it is. I think we're getting to the root of why I don't really like going to the grocery store. As all them times I had to carry all these bags by my goddamn self. I'm still carrying all my bags by myself. But it's just, you know, you go to the store, you buy hella stuff, hella bags, and you gotta carry it by yourself. And then if you really like arrogant, you really just wanna take it all in one trip. I'm a I N D E P E N D E N C D. My neighbors is having the time of their life out there. Do I need to go to their party instead? <laughs> I-I don't know what they singing. Anyway, I have not felt like vlogging. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm feeling moody. And like, it's not period week. It's not PMS week. It's just sometimes I just don't feel like talking. So I didn't realize that um, a whole week didn't flew by. It's already Friday. Um, where's my thing I'm looking for? I'm currently getting ready to go to a birthday party. Um, it's my friend's birthday. He's having it like a little, a little gala. Um, <clears throat> pulling out a dress out the archives that I haven't worn in a while. Uh, we back to long hair, don't care. I had to pop this thing on real quick. Uh, I actually made this wig earlier this year. Well, <laughs> I'm saying earlier this year, but technically, yeah, earlier this year because it was a couple months ago. Um, and I got this hair off Amazon, and like the bundles was okay. They lied and said it was 100% human hair, and I know for damn well sure. <laughs> what the hell is for damn well sure? For damn well sure that this is not 100% human hair. Like, and then the frontal is totally different. Not the frontal, it's a closure. The closure is definitely different than the bundles. Um, it's giving this is my hair vibes, which that's okay. But can you match the texture that you're selling me? So, yeah, and like I didn't burn a hole. <laughs> I burnt three holes in this damn lace. Cause I'm like, I tried to like, um, I washed the wig and then I blow dried it and when I blow dried it I for literally for like a half a second I had it too close because I was trying to switch hands three holes got burnt in I was like wow so luckily I know how to sew so I had to sew it up together but I'm like something's off and when I dyed it uh, when I dyed the knots of course you know how when you dye the knots if you've made wigs before like you of course it gets a little orangey brassy orange and you use purple shampoo to make sure that it, it turns back to like a um the neutral color or whatever the skin color this shit was still like burnt orange and i'm like what the hell is going on and then of course i tried to like play with some of the fibers and then i'm like yeah y'all 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 lied that's how i'm like you got to be real careful when you buy stuff off amazon and even though and that's another thing too some of the reviews be like oh my god this hair is amazing this hair is great i love it it lasts long da -da -da -da. some of these companies are giving people incentives to give a good review so make sure that if it's too many good reviews you see where the real real reviews are um because some people really like to be like you let me be 100 percent honest forget that little 20 dollars that y'all trying to give me i'm about to give a real review which i'm probably about to have to give a real review on this shit this was supposed to be just like you know just throw it on it's gonna be tiktok hair if i want to do a little instagram video instagram hair but because my other wig that's some good ass hair the other one was like from kendra's boutique but because i've been wearing it often you know if you wear frontals and closures often 
it started getting a little bald headed. So they say it's only supposed to be good for six months. I had it since 2019. And each time I had to keep clipping it, so it's like this much frontal left. So I'm about to turn that into some bangs or whatever. Or buy a new frontal for it because I really like that hair. But this is this whatever. I be having to um make sure a comb is on deck because it'll get crunchy real fast. But yeah, anyway, I just wanted to rant about that for a little bit. Um, I've been, my eyes been asleep, so I haven't ate. I got a pizza in the oven that I didn't made homemade. <laughs> got my little pita bread yesterday. Was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Yeah, last night. Yeah, it was last night. Last night when I went to the store, I grabbed my snacks and I got my bread. So... I got some pita bread so that way I can make some pizzas out of and some different um, toast and stuff. And then I got um, my chips so I can have some to crunch them. But I really, I really do need to go to the grocery store for real, for real. I was supposed to go today, but I was knocked out. And I was like, I'm tired. Like I said, I don't know what's been going on. This week didn't pass me by. And sometimes I just don't feel like talking. People be like, um, be thinking that I like to talk all the time. I really don't. I gotta remember, I'm a Gemini, so some, <laughs> some days I'll be like, blah, 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 and then some days I'm just hella quiet, and people be like, what's wrong with you? Why you got an attitude? I'm like, I don't have an attitude. I just don't feel like talking. And then I hate when people are like, oh yeah, you got an attitude. You're gonna make me have an attitude? Because I said I didn't have an attitude. Now leave me alone. And then people who be calling me, sometimes, hey friends, I definitely ignore your calls. And people be like, y'all don't even know, no, I'm not even, purposely trying to ignore y'all i just don't feel like talking so instead of me answering and saying hey i don't feel like talking i just rather let the phone ring and then go back to doing what i was doing and they most of them understand that they know like oh it's there's days that you know she don't feel like talking and i even make a public announcement like hey guys thank you guys for still being my friend and understanding my ghosting periods because sometimes i just don't feel like talking <clears throat> but um I'm trying to do better with my vlogging you know give y'all some little I give y'all something to watch or whatever but like I said I don't like vlogging unless I'm actually doing something cause I don't like talking all the time believe it or not y'all probably like oh my god you're lying no I'm not <laughs> Y'all yeah, see, that's why I, like the vlogs be far and in between. I'm trying to do better. And, you know, let y'all into my world. Because I did say that's what I was going to do when I started this channel. So being that outside is open up. Whatever. We low-key. Well, we are back to normal. Fuck the low-key. Like, we been back to normal. And if we haven't, they've been doing what they wanted to do anyway. So... Being that we back to normal and I'm trying to step out a little bit more. Allowing y'all to come with me. See what a day in May's life be like. A week in my life. A month in my life. Depending on when y'all get the vlog. And if I decide to put everything together. This frontal is so fucking. I could count on this a frontal. This closure is so damn dry. Like. I put hella coconut oil on this thing. And it's still giving me crunchy but oh, whatever it should be dark <clears throat> i had this on on oh should i put this this way this way fuck it um had this on on monday when i went to megan good event and i took that bitch right the fuck off and i was a bald-headed scallywag for the week <laughs> i used to call myself bald-headed i'm really not my hair is you know how people be like my hair was long until my mama gave me a pair <laughs> My hair just never got past my shoulders, and I don't know why. So I had shoulder length hair. Y'all seen my hair before? Shit, I ain't bought it. I just had my set it off for the week. And that's why it's always good to like make sure you have a good foundation underneath your wigs. Or make sure your braids is really, really good. Not just the jumbo plaited shit. Because if you feel like taking your wig off, you could just rock your braids underneath. You know, some people are a sucker for cornrows and manicure toes. You better suit those. Oh shit, this ain't working the way I need it to work. Anyway, um, let me make sure I don't burn my pizza. 
Let me make sure I have them. Mm -hmm. It's 10 20. It started at 10. Told Shayna the goal was 10 45. Uh, I lied. We go aim for 11. As soon as I finish this and eat, I should be good to go. Oh shit, did I go? Oh, which way did I curl it? Oh, oh. See, at first I was curling this hair forward, but we gonna go backwards and see what this gives because. Oh, oh god. Oh, god. What the fuck? What is this? Yeah, what's happening? I don't know. It's gonna fall together. You know why? Because I always make it fall together. But um, while I'm talking about hand to a party, I guess I could chat about how last week, was it last week? When was the fifth? I guess it was last week, whatever. Single de Mayo, of course, if you know, you know, there was a birthday party I attended. And it's nothing like going to, I'm going to say a high profile party. And it's a bunch of grown ass men crying and arguing with security trying to get in. That is just so unattractive. And then not only that, you're pushing and bogarting through a bunch of women. To get into another man's party who don't even know you. Make it make sense. Men are the biggest groupies ever. Ay, yo, ay, yo, 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 let me, let me get up, let me get up here, don't, don't. Oh, let me, let me get up here, uh, excuse me, ma, let me get up here. Just so you could say, you took a picture with the big homie. Hey, let me get a picture with your big dog. All of they put, all they pictures be like this. Like, you mushing bitches out the way so you can get close to the big homie? You're a groupie. You are a fucking groupie. And that is just one thing that is hella unattractive to me. And hella like, ugh, like, what makes you think that bitches gonna wanna talk to you after they watched you bogart hella females out the way and arguing with security to get let you in? I just I just had to get that out because that, that was bothering me. It's been bothering me all week, actually. And it's like, that that already happened. It already passed. But it's just like, because I'm going to another event and I'm like, okay, everything should be good. But that just gave me a flashback as to, ugh. Ugh. If they don't know you, calm down. Stand in line like the rest of everybody else. If you're not on the guest list, stand your ass back until the people who are actually on the list get through. Bogarting the door, blocking the door, doing extra shit, getting loud, trying to scuff. With people like the, the unattractive boo tomato 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 like go somewhere but tonight is not going to be that type of vibe because i can feel it it's going to be great it's going to be a great evening great people black excellence you know he wants everybody dressed up i'm trying to see Hella fellas dressed in a suit, suited and booted. You feel me? Oh my god, this motherfucker hair. You know what? I don't know what this hair is giving. It's not giving what I needed to. What the? F okay, see no. Give me a second. We gonna come back because right now we just chit chatting, and I need to get my shit together so that way I could be out on time. So I'm gonna holler at y'all in a few minutes. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> Woo. Okay, this is how I'm. Looking for a little liner on. And some lippy gloss. Okay, this is how I am ultimately looking. We got the hair to do something. Got the face on, got a little titty out or whatever, sparkly, razzle dazzy. And let's get the fuck out because it's time to go. Okay, gotta make sure everything is in my bag. We got the lip gloss that we got. A little perfume. 
got a little snack. <laughs> I don't know why I'm always carrying snacks somewhere. You never know. You never know. Put these little sandies in there. Um, keys. Boom. Got a big. Got a big bag. <coughs> Change of emergency clothes. Because you know, this is an out all night situation. And I don't feel like being razzle dazzle. AKA, pack a whole bag. I ain't even been able to be a whole whatever. Like, I need some niggas. I need some. I need to have a, you know, a little starting five for the summer. Cause I'm trying to have a half girl summer and I'm trying to play. So if you're watching this and you zaddy material, slide in my DMs. Follow me on Instagram. Anyway, um, let's see. Shayna had already skirted out the door. Need my chapstick. Um, am I bringing y'all or am I not? Am I leaving y'all at home or y'all coming? Y'all probably cussing me out like, bitch, you better be bringing us. <clears throat> I guess. I just don't know. It's like my purse is so little and carrying y'all is like, oh, look over here. Bringing y'all along. It's going to take up space. So I'm like, do I want to vlog off my phone? I guess I'll bring y'all. I guess. Let's put on the slide so we can get out of here in a timely manner. I don't even know why I need to bring my little paparazzi stage, but I'm gonna bring them. You never know if it's an overnight situation, which I know it's not because I ain't got no niggas. <laughs> I ain't got no niggas to be like, let me spend the night, babe. But we're working on that for uh, this year. Um. battery just in case oh no i hope i don't fall i feel like i'm missing something if i am oh well as long as i got my house keys keys everything all right so let's go party y'all let's go be cute yeah yeah what a, <laughs> what a volume yeah i just want you guys to know that i can't fit shit in here I really didn't want to bring you guys, but somebody out there is going to say, why'd you leave me at home? And I'm over here stressing and we're late. <laughs> Trying to reorganize we're my part. We're late. We yeah. are not late. It's 11.30, started at 10. It's like, we don't know what the front looking like. We got to still hike over there. Okay, okay, okay. Let me get the boy shorts out my behind. Anyway, yeah, um, I'm over here stressing because my phone is more important than this camera right now. And I just don't want to be holding it in my hand. Okay, one shoe. But y'all better like, share, and comment on this goddamn video. <laughs> Cause I'm stressed out. Lights out. Here Let's we go. go. All right, we go. We go.
this shit? Let me, let me let y'all hear for a second. It's nothing like getting woken up out of your sleep because your neighbors want to blast music like they're in fucking Vegas. Granted, I've been asleep all day because I was up all night. I don't think I went to bed till like probably 8 this morning. So a bitch been knocked out. I think I woke up around noon and then I went back to sleep. But they've been playing this shit since the afternoon. And I thought I was going to get a break, but apparently not. And I thought a bitch woke up in Vegas and then I woke up still in my apartment. These motherfuckers been at the pool just unsing uns uns all damn day. And I'm just like, okay, can we get a break? This is ridiculous. That bitch is sleepy. Why is this so loud? Can you guys put on headphones? Cause, oh my God, I don't want to hear this shit. Oh my goodness. Fucking face ashy. <laughs> Battery dying. Give, give me a second. It's nothing like being woken up to some annoying ass shit. And I think I was trying to sleep through it because I was like, okay, yay, we in Vegas, party hard, yeah. Then I was like, okay, this shit's getting annoying. Turn it the fuck off. So I'm like, well, we're up. Night out, nay. Uh, maybe, maybe it was it was meant for me to wake up. I wasn't meant to sleep all day. You know, the sun's down now. It's nocturnal hours, vampire hours. It's time for me to get up, but I need them to cut that shit off immediately. They got till 10 p.m. for it to go off or I'm calling security. Yeah, I, anyway, speaking of Vegas, this weekend was the Lepers and Friends um, Festival. And I thought that lineup was fake, but it turns out to be real. And I had like low key an opportunity to go because I think I asked somebody um, and they was like, oh yeah, we got an extra ticket for you. And I'm like, stop playing because I'll, I'll come out there. But then I don't know what happened. I think I just didn't follow through with getting it. And plus I was trying to figure out, I was like, do I want to drive? Do I want to try to fly? And I was like, okay, then I'm gonna have to look for a room. And I was like, it's just too much stuff last minute to be figuring it out. And then I was like, well, I could still go today, but apparently I've been sleep all day. So if I was proactive enough to be like, yo, I'm gonna come today, see the whole festival tomorrow type thing, or at least the rest of this evening and tomorrow, I could have went. But I wasn't proactive enough, the bitch was tired. <laughs> so I'm gonna just have to watch it from everybody's story. If people went, I mean, I know people went. I know people who are there, people who are performing, and people who are part of the show. But it's just like, as far as the crowd, who all went? Is it packed? Because I see none in the comments. A lot of people are trying to sell their tickets. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because like they thought it was fake too, so they was like, oh, well, they didn't like fall through with booking hotels and booking flights and shit. So they're like, hey, I got an extra ticket. I'm trying to sell it. There's like a lot of people in the comments like, hey, I'm trying to sell my ticket. I'm trying to sell my ticket. I'm trying to sell my ticket. <clears throat> and I was just like, do I want to buy one or do I want to get one for free? And I was like, you know what? It's okay. I don't have to go to everything. Although I still got an opportunity to drive out there. It's only a four hour drive. Get there by like, if I get ready and everything. Get there about two, three in the morning. If the hotel is nice enough, I can get an early check in. Festival start at what? 12? See the whole show? Come back Monday? I should see if my ticket's still valid. You'd be like, is that offer still on the table? Because what's up? Did you give my thing away or not? But sometimes I just chill. <clears throat> I ain't got, um, well, I guess Saturday's technically over. Actually, it's not. It's just if I'm gonna do something tonight, I could technically still step out, but I don't think I'm in a mood to step out. Just like I said, I've been kind of moody all week. I don't know why, but I have. But it's good when I'm moody and I'm by myself versus me being moody and being around people. Because if I'm moody around people, then everybody just sort of get on my nerves. I'm just like, <laughs> Gemini kicking in. But yeah, um, I'm probably about to see what the hell I'm gonna do for my birthday. 
like I said, I think I want to go to Peru. That might be a last minute little situation. Um, but yeah, I don't know. And I get this question all the time. I know Taylor would be like, what you want to do for your birthday? Bitch, I don't know. <laughs> And some people be, and other people, not just Tay, but some people be asking me like, oh, what are you going to do for your birthday? What do you want to do? And I just be like, I have no idea what my decision might be today. It could change in a matter of seconds. So I really don't know. Um, I know a lot of you guys found me from my Bali video. That was the most spontaneous thing I've ever done in my life. <clears throat> Reason being, I booked a flight and left within what a couple days of me figuring out what i wanted to do last minute i went across the freaking globe with nowhere to stay i literally booked my hotels in the airport which was crazy and not even in the airport in la i booked it in the airport in shanghai actually did i I think I was able to get what did I find one? I think I did find one. The 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 very the villa. That villa I think I booked when I was in the Shanghai airport. But once I got to Bali, because it was considered like a early check-in or whatever the case may be, I couldn't get into that villa until it was time to check in which means I was technically homeless for those hours until it was time for check-in so I had to look for me another hotel in the meantime which I end up staying in Kuta for um kind of like the first what 12 hours or so because I wasn't able to check in to the one that was in Ubud that was insane I, I'll do some wild shit like that again but like across the globe across that not only did you book the flight a couple days before leaving you didn't have nowhere to stay i definitely recommend <laughs> finding out where you want to stay before doing some wild things like that um but yeah i was just like i'm going no matter where i'm going so that's what happened and i don't know what the plan will be for this year i have literally what a month a month minus two three days to my birthday one two three six exactly four weeks <laughs> what i'm doing y'all what am i doing i don't know but i do know i just want to have an amazing birthday and this is like another i don't even want to call it like um I mean, I guess it is a milestone because every year is a milestone that you're able to have another year of life. So, applause to that. But, um, it's like my Jesus year. It's like, what we doing? Feeling godly. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, well, I need to do something great. Because um, what did I do this year? Or, not this year, last year. Oh yeah, the day of my birthday, I didn't do much. I literally was home for the whole day. Then I went to go see like um, some friends perform down the street, and then that's when my other homie took me uh, go karts to go kart riding. Go kart riding took me to do go karts. Y'all know my sentences be fucked up, so y'all know what I'm trying to say. I'm technically still waking up. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so this year, I don't know. I don't know if anybody gonna surprise me and take me somewhere or I might have to take myself. We gonna find out. But I feel like I'm rambling again at this point. So I think I'm about to just wrap this blizzy up. That way I can edit it and then get it to y'all on time. So y'all can have something to watch. Y'all can give me some feedback on what I should do for my birthday since um, I have a limited time to figure that out. And yeah, for the most part, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Tell a friend to do the same so they could be a part of the neighborhood. And when I'm complaining about my neighbors, y'all y'all are technically my neighbors. And we could talk about these other mother- Cause, Cause I need to turn this shit down. Okay, let me calm down. It's okay. Let them enjoy life. Cause you acting like neighborhood watch right now. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs>
anyway thank you guys so much for watching subscribe to my channel like comment and all that good stuff and until next time i'll holla I'm gonna go to the